Not your average motherfucking podcast. No, no down and dirty, boy, you know what I'm about. Stay out my way and keep my name out your mouth. Yeah, cause I'm no down and dirty about this. You heard me stay up early to catch the worm. Now you can slip if you wanna. Let me catch you on that corner. Believe me, you. Yeah. Back with another one. It's your boy Kenneth Stone, aka Coffee Weeds. I'm here with the people's champion, my boy Stunner. And we are here to talk that day. You gotta give you a weed name, man. You gotta get you a weed wrestler name, man. You gotta get you one, man. Uh, hey, you Stunner, you gotta you got you the people's champ. You gotta, you gotta get you some universal, actually. Oh, oh, the people? What? Universal? Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know what you you know, he said universal because you know I got it too. So I mean, you can have it. You can have it. You can have it. You can have it. You're, you're universal. But Sarge has it, so that's between y'all two, man. <laughs> we all have this. Come on. Oh, man. <laughs> but now, nah, man, we're talking hill talk. You already know when we talk hill talk, we gotta. We gotta give the people what they want. Got to. We gonna talk about a bunch of. Got to. Got to. No, we gonna talk about a bunch of rumors. We gonna talk about some a bunch of shit I heard, about some shit I didn't hear. Uh, I kind of like the Uncle Murder of Hill Talk right now, you know? I would like to call myself the Uncle Murder of Hill Talk, you know? Some shit I just heard. You know, some shit I heard. But yeah. uh, number one, we're gonna talk about Finn Balor. He says, uh, the demon no more. And he said, wait, let me, give, let me get a full interview. He had an interview and um, he said that basically the demon thing was basically supposed to be a one-off. He was supposed to only do it for New Japan, but WWE liked it. He did it for New J He did it for WWE, but he says basically, no more demon. There's no more. That's that's it. You know what I mean? How you feel about no more demon for battle? Yo, man, is 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 to be honest, it's disappointing because I became a Finn Balor fan watching the demon. Like I saw this, I saw this persona. I'm like, yo, what the hell is that? This is like, it's different. Like you don't you don't really see you know, superstars pulling up a persona like that and making it making it last long too. Cause you see yeah. a persona last long for like a week or two, maybe like a month, or they'll lose a match or they'll lose like a little like a little title and it did that that little thing is over. But this guy kept it going on and you know it was gonna be a good match. And you really knew it was something serious when Yeah, you when you came out yeah, yeah, you're like, right. You're right. like, Oh shit. You're right. You knew it's, that it was gonna be some shit was gonna happen. It was gonna go down. Alright, since there is no more demon. I personally feel like me. I like the Finn Balor greaser. Mm. That's my. I like the greaser guy. I like the Prince David. I like the bad guy. I like the leather jacket. Yeah, I like yeah, the. Yeah. That's me. I like that. I'm not a fan. Once again, I said it on. I've, I've said it many a times. I'm just not a fan of the demon. I'm not a fan of paint. I like some painted wrestlers. Don't get me wrong, but it's some things I just don't like. Like, I feel like if he was gonna be a demon, do the demon 24 seven, but do it be a regular Prince David to Bala, be that, you know what I mean? But I understand, I don't mind it going away. And I feel like it should be, they should have made the demon something like they are doing with Bray Wyatt. It should have been an attraction. It, it could have been, I, this is me personally, I, this is how I feel my opinion. I'm probably not like that. <laughs> um, but I feel like he, could, they could have, WWE could have made him like the first attraction. You know what I'm saying? Like where everybody wants to come see. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to see the yeah. demon, the demon, the demon, the, the demon. Opening show. Like, you know what I mean? Like now it's hard to see the fiend. Like everybody wants to see the fiend. Everybody wants to see the fiend. But now majority of the time you're going to see the fiend once in a blue. Why? Because it's an attraction. Just like Brock Lesnar, an attraction. And I felt that WWE watered it down so much that he got tired of it. Maybe, maybe that's just my opinion. Maybe he got tired of it. Maybe he just don't want to do it anymore. But mm -hmm. I just feel like I like the Prince Devin. You know what I mean? I like the Finn Balor. That's the Prince. Let me know how you feel in the comment. Which Finn Balor is your favorite? Uh, Finn Balor the Greaser, Finn Balor Prince Devin, or Finn Balor the Demon? Uh, I think that most people would say the Demon. Because, you know, that, like I said, that was an attraction. Good girl with in the corner, rolling up. But, like I said, that was an attraction. Shout out to him. Mm -hmm. uh, 
But like I said, that was an attraction, man. Like, and I just feel like that's like when they, when he does roll it out, maybe two, three years from now, hopefully, it will be like he will be the champion, and and it will be like he's really, really they're on top. You know what I mean? Just toss it. Just toss it to that man. Shit, hood. Hey man, once again, if you don't want, hey man, this nigga got a girl home. He throw like 50 cent. This nigga throw like 50 cent. <laughs> As we digress. <laughs> yeah, we don't know how to throw that. We don't know how to throw that. Alright, you know, I'm gonna have a digress here. I'm gonna go on. Um, As we on Hill Talk, we have a uh, new Impact Champion. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm not gonna write this fucking name down. Young. Eric Young. Eric Young. Yo. There you go. Why do I know it? How that? Listen, man. Uh, I'm How a, you feel about that? Uh, listen, me personally, I'm a huge Impact fan. Like, I'm, oh, I, I remember. What? I remember it before. What? And, and you know what, big shout out. Shout shit. out to Impact. But you know what? Shout out to the OG name, TNA. Show me. Shout out yeah. to yeah. Shout out yeah. TNA. And um, uh, see, I still call it TNA. Yeah, me too. I, mean, this, this I still call it TNA. They call it TNA Impact or and now, just Impact. Now it's now. Uh, they had first it was changed to TNA Impact, and then the it was changed to just Impact. So now it's just known as Impact Wrestling. Okay. But you know me and you know other you know OG fans, we still call it TNA because yeah, at the end of the day, yeah, because it's just you know shout, again shout out to Big Brother both, and now that shout out to them. <laughs> Motherfucker, dirty you. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. You, you've been here. You are dirty here, bro. You've been dirty here this fucking day one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came with yeah. the first fucking matches we went to. Yeah, yeah, the first yeah. all that I, shit. Good Tommy good Dreamer. Right, shout out to Tommy Dreamer too, man. He, he, gave, he gave a, a big shout out to my brother yeah, too. And all right, right, we got aggressive. Yeah, yeah, but Eric Young. Young. Eric Young. Uh, let me give you my before you go. Go I'm sorry. Go I feel like Eric Young deserves this shit. Mm -hmm. I feel every fucking person that leaves WWE and gets something good, whether it's the storyline, whether it's whether it's a fucking toy or fucking shoes or anything, I feel it's great, especially because they're unknown. And I feel Eric Young was unused in WWE, especially when he fucking Sandy. I love Sandy. I didn't watch too much. I, at that time, I wasn't really watching NXT, but then when I started watching NXT, I saw Sanity, and I like this. I love Sanity. Uh, Eric Young, uh, Wolf, um, Killian Dane, and, and um, uh, what's the chick name? Yeah, I don't know. I can't hear you, bro. Nick, Nikki Cross. Oh, Nikki Cross. I'm trying to try one what episode. You say, bro? Yeah, I'm trying to find one episode where we don't fuck up. <laughs> That's cool. You feel me? Because my memory is nothing, bro. I have like, a, I have like, I can see your face, but I don't know your name, bro. Really. Church. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I got robbed, and he was like, my name is Roy, and I'm like, I hey, Roy. No Roy. Uh, like, I would know Roy's face, but I couldn't tell you his name. I'd be like, he said his name was, uh, I think it was Robert. It's probably Robert. Robert. <laughs> it was an R, it was an R, yo. But, nah, uh, Eric, How you feel, Young, man? But Eric Young, I feel like, you know, I think this is his second time, second reign, I think, of being champion. I'm not really sure. Third, third. Yeah, see, I was close. I was close. Nah, he's close, but he's great. But, you know, he, he's definitely a hard worker and definitely, definitely deserves it. You know, he. Has put in the work, has put in the grind. He's How long do you see him with his with the belt? I I would hope at least I I want to see him at least five months. Give him at least five months yeah. with the belt because you know yeah. he, he definitely you know he earned it, but also deserves it. He's also a TNA OG. He's been there yeah. from like the jump. Would, would you like to see him keep beefing with uh what's his name? Oh, okay. uh, Edward, Edward. Ed Eddie Edwards. Yeah. Or would you like to see something new? To me personally, I love Eddie Edwards. I love I fucking Eddie Edwards. I think Eddie Edwards is great. I think everything he does is great. Uh, I fucking loved him since he was a face. I, I don't know whether he's a face or heel. He's never, he's always a face. So I just personally always like Eddie Edwards, me personally. Yeah, me, me too, me too. Um, I would like to see maybe like another title match, maybe, you know, just to speak, you know, maybe start, spark up a little few. Oh, you know? all right. My predictions. Boom. And I'm giving it right now. Boom. Rick, Rick Swan. Oh, it's gonna take the time yeah. from him. If a lot of people don't know, he injured Rick Swan in the I think it was a Roy Rumble. Slam anniversary. Slam anniversary. He ended. He ended his uh, 
Because he was already but, injured. He was already, he was already injured. injured. Yeah, he, he, he wasn't even supposed to be out there. That's, that's, yeah. that's first. He wasn't even supposed to be out there because we remember we were watching. We were like, how the fuck did Rick Swan get out here? So anyway, he injured Rick Swan's leg dramatically, and knee or whatever. But I feel that Rick Swan is going to uh, take the title from him. Let me know down in the comments who do you think is going to take the title from him. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me move on. Three. Yo. Since we're talking impact. Yes. Uh, EC3 took the title from, Moose. from motherfucking Moose. He doesn't <laughs> own the title. Well, well, neither does Moose. What the fuck? Nobody. All right. Yeah. Moose got the title from Impact Closet. Yeah. And all downstairs in the basement, whatever, the titles held, blah, blah, blah. Took the title made of his own because, uh, uh, what's that, Tessa Blanchard? Tessa Blanchard. Tessa Blanchard has, uh, they took the title from Tessa Blanchard, so she's no more, blah, blah, blah. I'm not really sure, too much sure what's going to be going on with that story, to be honest with you guys. Yeah. Um, I haven't heard anything from Tessa Blanchard. I haven't heard anything from Impact talking about Tessa Blanchard. I did hear them say something like, money. she wants some money, money for yeah. the title belt. Ah, uh, oh, it's iffy, but hey, whatever. To each his own. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Moose got the title taken from EC3. EC3 comes, uh, attacks him from the back. This is like two weeks ago. Last week they just showed EC3 cut a promo. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure what he's gonna show this week, but hey, uh, how do you feel about Moose? EC3. How do you feel about EC3 coming from WWE with his promos, cutting all these promos? Changing his character, and and now he's going against Moose. Moose and uh, wait, uh, and the thing I'm gonna say about Moose is I didn't like Moose in the, in the beginning because I just thought his character was fucking so watered down. It was just fucking lame. But once he went and took the title on his own, it made his heel a little better. Mm-hmm. Him being a heel better. Um, well, uh, Moose, I didn't see them that, that, uh, no promo on, but with EC3, I remember him coming up from TNA, and I think, what's the, who was, who was the owner? DC Carter, DC Carter, yeah, brought him up, and she was like, um, you know, he was calm. She was his nephew, he was his yeah, nephew. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was DC Carter's nephew, he was his nephew, right? Yeah, yeah, nephew, nephew, she had, and he had, he had, he had a lot of potential, a lot of, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. EC3, was he, uh, well, two-time champ? He's a two-time champion. Wait, and I don't understand the two-time champion. Is he a two-time impact champion or two two-time impact? I don't. Impact I don't, champion. Do all right. What's the, what's the belt that Moose has then? That's the TNA belt. Okay, he has the TNA. Yeah. World Heavyweight Championship yeah. belt, and then yeah. Eddie Edwards. That's and, the Impact. All right, so that's the belt that AC3 held, but they just changed the design. It's okay. Feel so, me? Yeah. All right, so. Yeah. There's two heavyweight championships running around? At the moment, yes. At, at the moment. So this is basically like a little uh, CM Punk John Cena feud going on. It's like, I'm the champ. Oh, but I'm the champ. And then it's like... No, 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 not even, not even really because like... I don't... The thing I don't understand is... I, 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 mean to, I don't mean to digress everybody. The thing I don't understand about Impact World Champions... Um, go on, sorry. Um, thing I don't understand about the Impact World Champion right now. All right, it's two World Championships, and I dig that. But shouldn't one be like a? Uh, it, 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 yeah, it should be one should be like a heavyweight World Championship, yeah. and the other one should be like Impact exactly. World Champion. Is exactly. is the one that Eddie Edwards just fought for? Not the. That's the Impact. That's the impact. Okay, that's that, so that's Impact World that's Champion. The impact champion. And the one. And Moose just got taken from. That's the one he just found out of storage. Found out of storage, and that one is named the TNA. TNA. Okay. Okay. I don't mind the TNA. So, I actually yeah. like yeah. the design of that belt. Yeah. Wait, didn't they change it? Moose changed the design. Also, it's yeah. a white belt. It was you changed the level of the belt. It was white, right? Yeah, it was white. All right. Yeah, yeah. I actually like the design. I'm not gonna lie. I yeah. think it's pretty dope. I think it's, uh, but I like this beef, man. I like everything. I, 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 I feel like 
Me too, me too. He also had a lot of potential coming up when he was uh, first in DNA. Then when he went to, I think, um, NXT, WWE, I think. Yeah, I thought he was going to be the man in NXT. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Like, in that one fucking like, match. Yeah, he he's nice. Like, he has a lot of potential. Like, he, I feel like he's all around. He could do a lot. I, but I, me personally, I'm a hardcore fan. What I like to see is him do more hardcore stuff. Like, use a weapon, use a, bring out a table, slap somebody. Like, yeah, yeah. Be, be I think he, he changed his move back. Also, to the power driver. No, not to the power driver. Uh, remember he he they used to do he, uh, the shit he did in the f- in uh NXT. He changed it. He doesn't do it. Yeah. He, I mean, uh, the shit yeah. him and um Dean Ambrose used to do. I hate to call him Dean Ambrose, but I have to say that. Oh, uh, dirty deeds. Dirty deeds. Yeah, yeah. 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 I remember the front. Yeah, it was, I think yeah. he changed it. They used to be called the one percenter. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. call it the one. He calls it something different. He, and he changed it too, though. It's it's pretty dope. I think it's backwards, though. It's uh, I can't I can't really you know you know I'm digressing now. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I can't wait to see what happens with that. I hope that it leads him to fight. Uh, not Eddie Edwards. Who just took the belt from Eddie Edwards? Uh, Eric Young. I hope he eventually fights Eric Young. Now, one, one thing I'm gonna say about Impact is, since the quarantine, Impact has been putting on great shows since Slammiversary. Facts, facts. But uh, my, uh, my fucking mm-hmm. heart cut you off. But that's also one thing I did love about Impact, TNA, whatever you want to call it or consider it. Um, for those of you, for newcomers watching it, you can you watch. You can call it Impact. You know, understandable form. Um, but, <laughs> but, um, but it's just one thing about TNA is like their matches are like like they're really like it's like I see why they call it impact now it's like boom like everything that just happens right away boom 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 and it's unexpected and they do more more I don't think stunts but they have like more they have more crazier movesets and they do more things that's not allowed it's like WWE it's like no it's actually what fucking it's, it, they do the same thing NXT does. They do the same thing. They do the same thing everybody else does. But I don't think they have the backing. Like meaning the backings, like their past fucked them up so much that a lot of people are iffy yeah. about fucking with Impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. because like yeah. I'm not gonna lie, like yeah, yeah. me and Good Brother Bowl. He sat down and we watched a lot of Impact and he explained this to me, explained that to me. Because yeah. I wasn't, a, like I said, I wasn't a big Impact fan. Yeah. I mean, I like that big bro. I can't, <laughs> I can't even know about that. Um, but, like I said, I wasn't a big Impact fan. But he put me on Impact and we watched it and then I had mad questions. So, but like I said, Impact's past, I think, fucked them up so much that a lot of superstars are like, yo, I really am iffy about it. Like, Rusev. Said they treated him great, they treated him very nice, yeah. but he just didn't want to wrestle at the time. Yeah. But I'm now digressing. But once again, that's uh, that's number three. Let's move on to number four, Rusev. Rusev. He's the best man. He is now, he's no more Rusev. I'm sorry to even call him, his name is Miro. Yeah. Miro, the best man. He came out, he's the best man of. Uh, Kip Sabian. Kip Sabian's supposed to be getting married to Penelope Cruz. Four. Penelope Ford. That's a Penelope Cruz, who's an actor. Shout out to her. She is bad. <laughs> Sorry. She she's always on my mind. I like I like her movies. Yo, it's oh well, that's a that's a that grass that you just cut off. But you know, you know, I mean, shout out to Black Widow, man. Shout out to Black Widow, man. Shout out to Black Widow. Shout out to cops that's going by. <laughs> Fuck this shit up. <laughs> Yeah, but not, uh, yeah, Miro. How you feel about Miro? Miro, I, I, you know, did you did you hear the crowd? Miro day, Miro day. Yeah, yeah. Mi- yo, yeah. great. Yeah. It was great, great, great. I like, great, great, I like great. the transition. I like that he's doing something. I like when uh when it, it's it's sort of it's something that it's also sort of artist too. Like when you change up and you do something different, it's like you have to think like now you have people looking at you. All right. What are you gonna do next? Like, okay, oh shit, he's doing something different. Like, yo, I like this. Okay, can you keep this up? Can you be consistent with this? That's also another thing too. Like, um, I don't want to say Dean, Dean Ambrose, but like, you see how he went from Dean Ambrose to now he's um, I mean, uh, John Moxley. Yeah, John Moxley. That's a 
It's like he changed his whole persona, his whole. He didn't really change his persona too much. He just he amped it up a little. Yeah, he amped it up. Yeah, if you ask me, he amped it up. This yeah. was him with weight on. Yeah, this, this is weight. Yeah, this, 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 this was all. John Marsley was always. Like, yeah, you got to think. John Marsley was always John Marsley, yeah. but. When he became Dean Ambrose, he was restricted. Not only was he restricted, he was with tag team people for half his career at WWE until basically, I'm going to say two, three years be before he left. You know what I'm saying? So, but I think with Miro, Rusev, yeah. um, I think his character is going to be totally dead. Still going to be a heel character because he's with Kate Kip Sabian, who yeah. is a heel. He's known to be a dirty motherfucker. But I'm, I'm sorry to say that. I think he's a great wrestler, too. Uh, <laughs> Great, sorry to digress. I think he's a great fucking wrestler. I hate that uh, Johnny Havoc, because I was hoping that Johnny, when when he said, yo, I, I was hoping Johnny Havoc came back out. I'm not gonna lie. Jimmy Havoc. Jimmy Havoc? Yeah. My bad, Jimmy Havoc. Who the fuck is Johnny Havoc? <laughs> <laughs> it's a comic book, my bad, comic. Yes, we got a lot of characters. We do those right? too. We do those comics, my bad. I said sometimes I get people mixed up with comics or like, all the rappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, Johnny Happy, that's a bad one. Right. Right, right. But no, like I said, I feel like his character is going to be a lot better. Um, I don't think he should have came out as a face, as a heel, but it's cool because they have a lot of other people there that came from WWE that are already heels. FCW, heel. Um, who else is a uh, heel that came from WWE? Uh, uh, Brody Lee. Bro, oh, Brody Lee's a hill. Brody but Lee. they have. Uh, Champion, they Who's that? FTR. Champion, FTR. Yeah, I said FTR. They hill. Yeah. So they, they have those two guys a hill. They have. What's they have from WWE that's face? John Moxley's face. Matt Cardona. Matt, Zach Matt, Ryder. Is he signed? He's not signed. He said, I'm not even signed. He so I him. don't give a fuck. Zach Ryder. Zach Ryder. A lot of people don't look. Yo, did Ryder. you. Did you do you, do you watch BTE? I'm, I hate to digress. Um, nah. Speaking of Matt Cardona, all right. But please watch BTE, man. This is fucking hilarious, man. I love the Dark Order. Oh, I'm trying to be a Join. part of y'all. I'm trying to try. Uh, <laughs> Sinbad is a part. First off, I'm a dog, and I order shit around already. Oh, All hell, <laughs> Dark God. Order. I love those guys, man. But what? Jeff Jeff Hardy versus um Oh okay, okay. Oh oh Jeff Hardy. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna move on. Jeff Hardy wants to bring Willow yes. to WWE yes. against the Fiend. He said uh yes. he would like this to be that would to be his last hurrah. Tell the backstory on Willow. He, uh, the Fiend, alright, all right, a lot of people don't know who uh Willow is. Willow is from Impact Wrestling. Mm -hmm. Um, he, Willow was his alter ego. He fought against uh, his brother, uh, Miro. Am I wrong? Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy, but <laughs> what, his name was Brother Miro? Yeah. Nero. Brother Nero. 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 But I thought I, was, I thought I was wrong, huh? I thought his name was, he wasn't Matt Hardy, it was Brother Nero. Yeah. Brother Nero. So you can't say Matt Hardy, bro. Because Matt Hardy's old. He was, he was, he was a broken. Broken. So you can't say brother. Matt Hardy, because yeah, you say Matt Hardy, then I'm thinking Matt Hardy. If yeah. you say, Brother Nero, then I know who the fuck. Yeah, I know the fucking brother Nero. Like Matt Hardy has so many fucking, so many like personas. Yeah, so many personas. Yeah. But, but how do you feel? Nah, listen, I'm, I'm, if what? Wait, all right. One thing I'm gonna say is they already tried to bring the Broken Universe to they, they did, WWE, they did. and um, it kind of it didn't really fit. Not it, it didn't fit. And not that it didn't fit. I just feel like I, I they didn't do justice. Yeah, but it's, it's, like they didn't um they didn't let Matt only have uh free free writing will free will you know yeah, to yeah. just free ideas you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah, that's so if they bring Willow how do you feel I mean, let me let me know let me know your ideas let me know how you feel personally right, well me personally because I'm I'm a huge Jeff Hardy fan I love Jeff Hardy I know that's your guy my, my, I remember yes yeah, my what the fucking tone uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is what I hear. Oh, yeah, I mean, we go back. We'll let y'all know. We go back. <laughs> nah, yeah. Uh, yeah, probably really like my idol, man. This is like my guy. But um, when I saw the whole Willow persona, 
it uh, it, it was it was a uh, sudden. I feel like I was like, okay, that's like the like an Arthur Eagle. That's like the hardcore side, the real, real hardcore side. I don't know if y'all remember, but uh, when he started doing like the face paint and talking to Mike, talking, talking. Oh, my fault. I was talking. Breaking to you. Nah, I thought I was being too loud, but um, nah. nah. Um, when he had uh came back in 2010 and was doing all the face paint and all that, he was doing all the extreme, the extreme yeah. stuff, trying to go the tables, doing all the ladder matches, the TLC stuff, beefing with uh, CM Punk, my heart, all that. He brought back the extreme stuff in 2010. No wonder he was really doing all that. All right, let me ask you a question about Willow. Yes. I, I, don't, I know a little bit. When he left Impact, mm-hmm. how did he, did he leave as Willow? No. Did he leave as... He, uh, so before he uh, came back to the WWE, his last round on Impact, he, well, when he first left after the whole thing with CM Punk, he went to TNA, he was on his regular Jeff Hardy stuff. He was you okay. know, doing his thing, and then he had wound up becoming a TNA champion, and he was with the Immortal crew. And then he was like Immortal Jeff Hardy, he had made his own TNA champion. He was, okay, I remember that. I remember that. Crew. Okay. He was really the man in TNA. Okay. And then, I don't know if Was this had, before? Sting. This was, before, yeah. I, I, I was gonna get all to right, that. I was, right. I was, yeah. Cause Cause I, I, I think that's yeah, the world that's, famous Jeff Hardy yeah, incident everyone, that he wants yeah, to wipe under the rug. Yeah, and he's yeah. trying to get rid of that bitch. Victory yeah. Rose. But you know, I <laughs> yeah. feel like Victory Rose. I feel like WWE could have gotten rid of that blemish. Nah. Yes. They don't do nah. that. Yeah, they could have. You know, yes you don't have to no. wait. Yes no. yeah, all right. This is this is my opinion. And I want to hear. I want to hear. I, I, right. I, love, I, love I feel WWE could have gotten rid of that blemish by booking the match perfectly, booking the match great, booking the. They could have booked Sting versus Jeff Hardy. They they. Wow. Why, why not, good brother? Why not? WWE. Well, <laughs> they were both signed at the same time. They could have booked. Wait. Let me say. And at the time. Jeff Hardy was going through his shit, but he was okay to to wrestle with that. I just think personally, Sting was like, "Fuck him." Nah, WWE nah, is only nah. worried. WWE is only was at that time was only worried about one thing: the Monday Night okay. Wars. Oh, that's why they had Triple H and Sting. Triple H, all right, Australia. okay. You feel me? Because if you don't got Triple H, you ain't got WWE. <laughs> Fuck it. No, you know what? Let's move on. Uh. But how you you do you feel that's that that would work? The fiend I mean, versus the fiend versus the fiend. We didn't speak about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't speak about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I took a background, but then I, no, I never, nobody really knows about Willow. You know, when you hear Willow the Wisp, you're like, who no? That's not like yeah. a who. Willow the Wisp. When I first heard of him, he had that crazy voice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, alright, alright. I thought I was, I was so, like, who the fuck is yeah, this dude? So, so, here's my thing. So, the Willow persona is like an Arthur Eagle, Joker, crazy type of persona. So, mm-hmm. that versus the Fiend, the Fiend is also like a different dark persona. So, you got yeah. dark versus dark. And you don't have, we don't, you don't have that wrestling right now. You got two dark egos, two dark figures battling. Like, when you, like, Undertaker, you know, that's, that's done. But who was really dark, like, the Undertaker? Who, who was like a dark persona? Other than, um, uh, mankind was dark at one time. Man, mankind was dark, but like that, like I said, it's like you're, you're starting something new. How long can you keep it? Because he stopped the dark. Right. He had like that little dark emo, that, that little dark emo stuff, and then it stopped. You know, it, it was he. He just he became. Uh, he, became that, bro. <laughs> he became. He became a hardcore le- le- the, uh, hardcore icon legend. After that, he, he stopped doing a little dark thing. So there was no one doing like the dark persona, the dark figures, all the little mm-hmm. um, big stuff. So Jeff Hardy could bring that, or oh, oh, Willow could bring that to right. the table. How would you book thing. that? You could. How would you bring Willow versus The Fiend? Because first of all, The Fiend is on SmackDown so and. Jeff Hardy. Oh, Jeff Hardy's yeah. on SmackDown too. Yeah. Oh, you're all right. He's the Intercontinental Champion. Yeah. He'll drop that belt. Come to five. Yeah. Right. Oh, how would you look that? How would you be? A, how would we get? How would we get that? We, you hear Good Brother Bob in the That's background. <laughs> Wait. What would you say, Good Brother? I will, I, I, I will have Jeff Hardy drop the IC title, then have Willow come to the Five Five Flunk House. Mm. Hey man, well, we got a new character. So how? What would you do? Me. Um. Since 
he's the champ right now, I would have the fiend come out and just interrupt the match. Like, you all old classic. Mm, old classic. Wow, fiend. that would look ah, And have him back run back for the match. Yeah. I would cool. like that. Come out, I don't know, interrupt the match. Boom, hit him. And then leave the match and then just point at him. I want the belt. Like, do, do the little title thing, like, the title's mine. And then, boom, the beef, stuff like that. And then, whoever wins the title or the final, boom. Okay, you lost or you won, but the beef still continues. Like, now nah, you interrupted my match. Now nah, you won't disrespect me. Because it's like, you saying? It's just. I, so I feel like, yeah, Jeff Hardy's out there in the ring. And then the funhouse appears on the screen. And it's a picture. It, it, it's Bray Wyatt talking shit. But not talking shit towards Jeff Hardy, talking shit to that Jeff Hardy is not dark enough. Oh. He has to do something to bring Willow out. Out, yeah. You just that punching him in the face is not going to bring Willow out. You got to taunt at Jeff. Yeah. Just like Seamus. I agree to, with to, to, That's to three be, different dynamics right there. Yeah, I like that. To be surprised, yeah. what Seamus was doing to Jeff Hardy should have brought Willow, Willow out. out. Yeah. Because you were yep. coming you, at you, my... Bringing, you were bringing his... Yeah, yeah you were you, coming you were at my, my, my liquor, all my problems. Ah, like, that, that should have brought Willow out. The fact that that didn't bring Willow out. Hey, hey, you better be like that next week, nigga. Sorry. Fucking A. <laughs> um, you know what? I you agree can't. with Frost. Yeah, hey. I agree with my guy Chad Frost too, like Nami. Me personally, I feel you have to like bring it. Willow out. You have to keep taunting Jeff Hardy. You have to. This is me personally. I feel like Jeff Hardy should like get taunted. To the point where he breaks. He, yeah, he breaks. Yeah. But not he breaks. breaks. It. Not breaks. He in a breaks bad like way, yeah. but they control yeah. his break. Like yeah, he, out with like he breaks to the point where he's like, "All right, same thing." Ha or, or we could take him. He could show up at the lake of reincarnation himself. Mm. Let's don't make it reincarnation. So there's, to, oh, okay. Can't do that, bro. So that's the thing about this. It's it'll be hard to do because Willow's not a part of the broken universe. Oh, he's not. No. Yeah, Willow, Willow is his own thing. Let Willow's him know. Let him know, son of a bitch. Oh, like Willow. Willow, well, Willow was, was in the broken universe. Nah, Willow is all no, the never, universe. never. Yeah, Willow is like so Willow a whole and and thing. when wait wait wait. The only time Willow was in the broken universe is when they had to the find deletion. That's what I'm saying. When they had to the find deletion. And remember, he I dumped, saw that he dumped them in the and, remember like the three different times. times. You feel and me? And it didn't work. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll, all right. It's my a, bad. Hey, it's a, hey, it's a broken world, B. It's <laughs> like uh, no, it's like Marvel comics. Yeah, basically, it's, it's like comics. Yeah. It's like he's in his own universe, but he could. Hop over to our universe yeah. from time to time. Uh -huh. uh, alright, alright, I got it, I got it. Alright, speaking of uh you know, Five Five Funhouse, we speaking of Jeff Hardy, Five Five Funhouse, um uh wait, Bray Wyatt. Basically Bray Wyatt brought a new character to the Five Five Funhouse. At yeah. first, I mean give everybody run around, run down. Uh yeah, the first uh character, uh a parrot of some sort, and uh he didn't pull enough holes in the box and that motherfucker died. Yeah, well, I was like, what? And then out comes the Vince McMahon character. Such good shit. Such good shit. <laughs> such, such good shit. Can't hit that button. <laughs> yeah, such good shit. That's a great button to have. Yo, such good shit. Yo, fact, shout out to that public talk to Vince McMahon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shout out to that WrestleMania. Basically, um, uh, basically fucking Bray Wyatt, uh, Vince McMahon character comes in. And uh, Bray Wyatt's like, what? And then he, he's like, oh, you're doing too much. And he brings in Waddling Wars. Special advisor. Special advisor. A lot of people don't know he's supposed to be... Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman. Yeah, he's supposed to be Paul Heyman. I don't know, I forgot that. He's supposed to be Paul Heyman. All, that, all I saw was Paul Heyman. So he walked there, he's like, my name is Paul Heyman. But that's what I called him the whole time. <laughs> Paul Heyman. This motherfucker came from. Yo, first of all, tell him, ladies tell and gentlemen, him. there's a big ass banner when I'm trying to throw it. I don't fucking see the banner, so I apologize. They don't want to see this. How do you feel about the new character? You see the new character? I saw, I saw the wars, and instantly I was like, yo, what? Fuck. Yeah, this guy is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. But um. <laughs> 
Um, how do you feel the how do you feel the Bray Wyatt character is going? How do you see him going? Uh, with the Funhouse, I feel like uh, I mean, I, I mean, well, I, I, I'm gonna go. I know that's for kids, so I feel like when I watch that, I feel like I'm watching a couple of those group shows. But um, he says certain things that it's you know, if you're an adult watching it or, so, or someone older of age and you're watching it, it's like sort of relatable, sort of funny. Like the comments are sort of funny. Like when Mr. Grant came out. I would be like, oh shit, it's about to go down. <laughs> good shit. Such good shit. Such good shit. <laughs> but now I'm also thinking like, okay, so who's really gonna be running the show now? Because Paul Heyman is Paul Heyman. Like that's a force. No matter what you no matter who you are, no matter what you're doing. Yeah. Paul Heyman is Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman is Paul Heyman. That is a force. Adam Pierce. And yeah. so you know, I see it being fun though, man. I like everything Bray Wyatt is doing right now, regardless. I think he's the best thing right now, SmackDown to me. Uh, that's that's basically what I don't. A lot of people watching SmackDown right now for Roman. I'm not, um, still on the other bandwagon. I'm not, <laughs> no. jumping, I'm not jumping into a Roman fan. No, 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 still no, against it. No, facts. Speaking, speaking of Roman, I was dealing with this earlier today too. Um, speaking of Roman, how how do you feel about him being managed by? Oh, I mean, cause, cause, and, and, and before you even um, answer that, like, because if you really think about this too, um, the people that Paul Heyman sort of managed or just was working with was doing stuff like they, they, uh, they was doing had a couple bus. They, they, they had, they had buzz. Like they was doing. They had a couple games. bus. They all, no, they all became world champions. Though. Yeah, like they, uh, uh, did they? Yeah. So some of them won titles. Some of them. Ad, Alec, uh. What the fuck is that? Except Cesaro. Cesaro? Except Cesaro. Wait, wait. 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 <laughs> Some, uh, it was the B-team guy. They wasn't Paul Heyman dudes. The guy from the B-team wasn't the Paul Heyman guy? He won in the Continental Champion on Father's Day. And that was it? That's dope, though. On Father's Day. That's dope, though. That's not the point. I'm not over sentimental shit, but that's... The, the, the thing is, like, when you work with Paul Heyman, Paul Heyman knows how to... Joey won his championship on Father's Day. Fall and die. Talk so, about uh, fall and yeah. die. Five <laughs> rings. Did it. The rebuttal. My bad. <laughs> get, get the people what they want, B. Get the people what they want. <laughs> get the people what they want. <laughs> yeah, I got to. Got to. The yeah, disrespect yeah, yeah, yeah. of Hill Talk. Uh, 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 <laughs> disrespect of Hill Talk. I'm fucking up these guys. <laughs> Yeah, also, just since we're doing shout, shout out to the VOP, shout out to the tournament experience, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shout out to them. Yeah. But um, with work, with Paul Heyman, Paul Heyman knows how to work with someone, knows how to make them excel, make them exceed. So I feel like Roman. Think about this: Roman back then, or Roman, you know, it's just people don't really like Roman because he's just shoved down everyone's throats. And yeah. He's sometimes that even himself. Like he just scripted and he doesn't do this. Yeah, that, that's and his I think. Don't even know all that. I think for me, I lost faith in Roman. John Cena shut up down. And I, that, I was about to bring that up too. Like, like I lost his, all his, faith. His best, like, and when, when John Cena he shut him down, fucking but, cut but his ass, I was really, like, yo, but, this dude's just. If like, you, if you can't cut his ass. both, because, yeah, the court is, if, yo, if you want to be the big dog, you gotta cut a chrome. You, you gotta learn how to cut a chrome. Oh, oh, man. John Cena killed him. And, and, and then after oh. that, and mind you, that's not even good for that. That was just completely just. That was some real shit. shit. Like yeah, when John Cena and The Rock was going yeah, at each other, that yeah. was real shit. And um, and then if you I don't know if you know it, but Roman that like, his face said all these they're like, yo, really like it said like, everything. It said, face said everything. Like, yeah, and then he went on, and Roman was just talking just to talk. Like he was not off script. Like, he was not on script. He was he went off script. He was just doing his own thing. But now I feel like working with Paul Heyman. What like like what do you think is gonna happen now? Like do you think he's gonna cut better promos that better match? I think. He doesn't have to cut better promos. He can say two nah, things. Nah, 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 nah. And Paul Heyman to cut everything else. His promos yeah. been fine. Nah, I think yeah. I think all he has to do is piggyback over Paul Heyman. It's like holding a child's hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it, bro. Like he don't have to say much. He you yeah. hear what Paul it's like I hear you freestyle and I just gotta come after you. Yeah. Alright, it's easy because now I just know what you said. Yeah. Like that's yeah. it's kind of easy, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think honestly, right now is making his character a lot better. You know, he, his character's gained a lot more fucking uh, weight, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I like the character now. I think it should been done doing this. They should should have.
been happening months ago, fucking years ago. This shit should have happened when he fought Braun Strowman. I mean, when this shit should have happened when he fought Brock yeah, Lesnar. Shit should have happened. Paul was busy at the time, bro. Yeah, no, I mean, just him turning hill. It's not him. It's just I'm, him, just, I'm, him. No, I'm just saying him turning hill. Yeah. When was the first time the fans really started booing him? The second time he got that belt. Now nah, he won the Royal Rumble when The Rock came. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. the exact time they started booing when The Rock came. <laughs> that is the fucking <laughs> exact time. You, you thought your, your, your famous crazy. cousin was going to get you Bro, <laughs> that is the exact time. Because it was the big show on the game. Yep. At the right. End. Yeah. I just Perfect. feel like because of certain situations, the fans are like, the fans don't forget shit. Yeah. That is a fans fact. don't forget. Like you we might the, the wrestler shit. might forget something. We don't forget and, shit. And they might <laughs> and we might pick up on something that they didn't even see that they did and they probably didn't realize that that was a big deal. But to us that's sometimes like it's a big deal. And like for Roman not turning hill, and it's not his fault. I can't complain about him He's doing turning his hill a long time ago. He was doing his job, so I can't complain. I feel like he should have turned heel a long time ago. We're digressing way of the situation, but ah, I'm sorry. Like, this is heel. But I just feel oh. he should have turned heel a year ago, a year and a half ago, just because of the dynamics he was put in, the situation. But then the cancer thing came well, up. Well, you got to go back to the whole chill, the show breakdown, brother. Yeah, when yeah. Self but this, self yeah, self but he was, not, he was, he was, he was faced. They made him face because he was the first one who actually fought Seth. Remember, Dean Ambrose left and didn't fight Seth right away. Nah, man. <laughs> nah, it was, it was Dean fighting. It was Seth. Dean fought Seth right away. The hell yeah. Seth and then, all, that yeah. all right, so Dean fought Seth right away. Yeah. Roman. Roman was trying to back. He had the arm. Um, no, that's when he had the U, the U.S. the, the Intercontinental or U.S. Yeah, you know, he was dealing with way too Triple E. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. All right. So um, I mean. Aggressive from the situation. I just feel Ro yeah. Roman Reigns is doing better now that he's healed. I don't want to hate him because you know the whole leukemia thing. Whatever. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, <laughs> can't say that on camera. Yeah, not, not, not on camera. I mean, you're not, not saying that he hates. You know that. <laughs> but it's just, I'm just it's saying just, like it's, 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 it's the fucked up situation that happened and yeah, et cetera, just, et cetera. I'm glad he's. Doing better heel. now and back. Yeah. Right to All heels are good. All heels are dirty. I'm just you're a heel, you're a dirty heel. Yeah, so. right. what, what, what do you guys say, girl? I, yo, I love it, man. I, look, it's ain't time. I'll wait till next week, B. Uh, uh, <laughs> Same uh, real talk. Uh, this is what? Heel talk. Heel talk, man. Feel me? Y'all enjoying this, man? Like, uh, <laughs> what you want? Boom. Um, Oh. I know five. We're going to uh, Jay Lee do be Dalton Castle. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know. We're talking Ring of Honor right now. Uh, they're having a pure uh, championship tournament. They're bringing it back. Uh, they're bringing it back. It's like 16 people in the tournament now? Mm -hmm. It might be more, honestly. 16. 16? Okay, 16 people in the tournament. Uh, first round was last night. Uh, Jay Lee do defeated Dalton Castle. Uh, a lot of Jay Lethal was still the tag, ring on a tag team, tag team champion. champion with uh, uh, Jason Grissom. Jonathan Grissom. Grissom. Jonathan. Jonathan. <laughs> I haven't wrote it down too much. Jonathan Grissom. I love it. Listen, love you it. got a name, I'll forget it. I uh, just know that. Fact. And sometimes, you know, there's a lot of weird names out there. I mean, no offense and no offense. I have a weird name, so like, you know, it just, it just happens. I'm yeah. sorry. But Dalton Castle beat, uh, I mean, Jonathan Lethal. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that be fucking all right. <laughs> Listen, man. Listen. Jay Lee beat Dawn Castle, man, in the first round, man. How far do you see Jay Lee to go? Listen, man. Jay Lee to honestly, I've seen him, like I said, from TNA. So he's he's a he's he's, he's a nice, and I, I remember, I remember yeah. has my cheese mo. That's the only Jay Lee. The black like. cheese mo. Black yeah. cheese mo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, shout out to oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Shout out to him now, nah, but. He's a good, good ass wrestler. Like I remember the match was him versus Kurt Angle, and oh, if y'all wow. have not seen that match, let's oh, go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is this is. I'm a big wrestling fan, man. Gotta, gotta bring these things up. Man. Gotta bring these things yeah, up. Thank you, thank you. That, but like, if you haven't checked that match out, check check that match out. But you see that match, and you're just like, wow, like this young dude is fighting like a legend and icon, and they're just going at it. Like, like you like, like Kurt Angle really knows how to wrestle in a ring. 
this little, I mean, he's not little, but this young guy is going at it. I'm reversing this, reversing this, flipping, doing this, and they're just going from top rope to top rope, from rope to rope. He knows how to wrestle, so. At least he's pretty good. He's, he's pretty good, he knows how to really wrestle. Now, in a tournament, it depends, like, those have other good competitors. So, you know, if you have someone who can outclass him, which you have to be really, really, really skilled to do that, then maybe, but if you have like, a couple guys who's not really giving it their all, I feel like he's gonna really do good. All right, so next week, we're gonna give you, we'll probably come up with the next round. We'll tell you the next round. Uh, good Brother Grove and my uh, good other brother gonna be here, uh, Frost God. <laughs> They'll be here for next week for uh, Hill Talk. For Hill Talk, so. Trust me, uh, we'll, we'll keep up with those rounds. Um, also, his partner, Jonathan Grissom, that's why I, I kept messing up. They call him Johnny, they call him everything. <laughs> call, them, call them everything in the world. But he defeats Willie Uta, but him and Jonathan Grissom and uh, Jay Luthor are also the ta- Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions right now. Um, and he defeats um, Willie Uta to go to the next round. I feel like, me personally, I feel it's gonna get to the point where they're gonna meet each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, facts. Yes, yes. And I'm, I'm not mad at it. No, yeah, no, you can't be prepared. It'll be dope. It, it'll be super dope. And the thing with tournaments is because, you know, in the tournament, you don't know. So I'm, sometimes you know who this is. You don't, yes. you don't, know, who, don't. Who you're gonna, you don't know who you're gonna compete against because it's like a pyramid. It's like you have so many layers and you have, you know, top layer, bottom it's like, et cetera. It's like a give and take because, like, uh-huh, what if this yeah. person wins? Exactly. You're not prepared. You fought this person, but you haven't fought this person. Exactly. And you do not know what this person can do. Yeah. And also, what if they, and what if you think you know, but they've been holding back? It's yeah. sort of like sort of like a comic book or like a video game or like an anime. Like, yeah. It's just like all these persons back. Never right? know. Blah, blah, blah. And then when you're trying to compete, you're like, oh, I studied him. I know what he can do. And you go that, and then it's like, oh shit, he's pulling, he's doing this, he's doing that, what the hell? So, you know. That's how I felt yesterday with the Jay Lethal match. The Jay Lethal and Dalton Castle match. I'm I've first. seen Dalton Castle fight mad times. But I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen him fight Jay Lethal before, me personally. But last night, it was surprising because I was like, oh shit, Jay Lethal's gonna lose. Yeah. I honestly thought he was gonna lose the match, but he winds up winning the match. Uh, Danger, I think Danger's World. Drop the Dirty Hill fun fact, man. Oh, it's yeah. the Dirty Hill fun fact. Jay Lethal was the longest ring in Ring of Honor the chip, Oh, man. oh. Go ahead, say that, big brother. Big yeah. brother. <laughs> brother in the back. Yo, if you ain't heard it here first, but you're gonna hear it now, man. Jay Lethal is the longest reigner ever Ring of Honor championship. And he's the only man to hold the Ring of Honor championship and the television title simultaneously. Simultaneously. Oh. That is facts. He fought... <laughs> Sorry. The, he fought Old Boy for the title. Yep. Actually, uh, the... Jeff Cobb. He Jeff, fought, he no, fought, not even Jeff Cobb. He fought the uh, Bro... Bro... Brody Lee. Brody, Brody King. Brody King. Brody King from Villa Enterprises. Oh, fire. All right. Last but not least. Last night on Raw. The fucking... Retribution popped up again. Mm-hmm. They tried to hold my homies down. Oh yeah. They tried to hold them down. Good. They tried to hold the the, the hurt business down. Good. But they stand the business. And now we have found out who they are. I just I, 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 I just wanted to see if you agree with this. Let us know in the comments below. Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> How you feel? We got Dominic Nikovich. That's obvious. That's fucking obvious. Like Dominic Nikovich, that's too obvious. They tried to disguise his voice, bro. Your eyes, your tone, your skin. Should have probably like darkened up, caught a chance or something. Um, <laughs> you can't say that on camera. <laughs> can't say that on camera. Say that on camera. <laughs> we are family friendly. Alright, we got me we got Dominic Kovovich, Mia Yim, Shane Thorne, Dio Madden, and Mercedes Martinez. She's probably the one who caught me off guard the most. Because I think Mercedes Martinez, we actually thought it was a uh, Green. Chelsea Green. Chelsea Green. We actually thought it was Chelsea Green, not uh, Mercedes Martinez, but you know they switch every week. But those were the five that we noticed that were there this week. You know what I mean? Like those are, I, I don't know if they're gonna change it again. 
You can't say it because you like like they might change it again. Well, you talk about the promo how they had other members. All right, promo. so like they had a lot, a lot, a lot of people. Like every job you could think of is there. The, like they were all there, all the jobbers, just in black. <laughs> They were ready to rob somebody. I'm just, I'm just saying, all I'm saying is like, retribution is not they to be played to with. Up. They want it. They want to They want the, they want the sh- Oh, God, I don't even want to say that. I hate that. I hate that. But they was real. Retribution is not playing. How you feel about retribution? How do you, wait, wait, how do you feel? Yeah, retribution. Nah, I mean, Motherfuckers. They're trying to beat down the hurt business. They're trying to take them down. All the way down. Now, can't take down the hurt business? Can't take down hurt business? Can't down. They hurt people. That's their business. Nah. Facts, 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 facts. <laughs> yeah, but um, I ain't gonna watch it. When I first seen it, I was like, yo, there's dead ass ninjas taking over. Like, I just thought people all in all black with masks, and I was like, why the fuck is there just ninjas? Like, they're ninjas. Yeah, I. No, no, no. They're not ninjas. <laughs> yeah. Tazawa has the ninjas. Okay, alright, so. Uh, <laughs> 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 Alright, so. 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 Yo, <laughs> we know who the leader of retribution is. It's our. It's the oh, the leader of retribution. It's the sour. Damn it. Yo, broke it. Right. Yo, yo we, just, we just, podcast, we, just we just, I, I want to tell you, we just, we just said boom and boom, boom, and we just solved the fucking puzzle. It's all who retribution. Like, like I want to tell you, that listen, don't hire lawyers, don't hire none of that. Just hire it's us. Our. You got to get what they want. Listen, we'll solve the case. You, it, listen, we'll solve the case. You ain't getting no. Listen, this is. And they would tell you how we solved it. <laughs> exactly. But, but just know we'll solve it. And listen, just hire us. 1 800 dirty heels, 132. That's mm. it. We got that. Pretty good number. Feel me? Got to go pay that. Feel me? Bitch, well, now. Look at that. Call it now. Call it now. But, that is. is um, it's just. I, I feel like what they're doing is sort of like the NXT thing. Like, I don't know if y'all remember that years ago. Yeah. Like NXT, Nexus. Yeah, Nexus. Yeah, well, before they even, even like NXT, I think it was like just Nexus or whatever. The Nexus crew. Yeah. Boom. And they just came to a, a bunch of young rebellion. I people. think it was fire. I, yeah, I like that too. It was sort of something new. And you slayed them. Yeah, you uh, slayed them. Uh, Barry, Barry Wyatt. Uh, no, no. Barry Wyatt was Barry Wyatt. Barry, yeah. 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 His name was. Hefty habits. Yeah. Husky. Husky habits. It was um, right, right back. Right back. Right back was there. It was also um Dave Ryan. Uh him Darren Young. Darren Young. The sheep. Michael no, Tarver. The goat. No, Michael Tarver. The, 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 the one they call the goat. Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan Dave was there. Bryan. Oh, yeah, he went to all yeah, betrayed them. Yeah, Daniel Bryan was in that. Boom, I'm telling you, That's bro. That's crazy. Dave Bryan was the one who betrayed them, right? He didn't betray them. No, he left them. He, he left, left them, them, bro. Them. He betrayed them. And he came back and yeah. uh, helped he, them win at some stadium. Team WWE versus Team Raptors. Right. He did. He did. You got to give the people what they want. <laughs> God damn good brother. This is all about the All right, man. Well, that is Hill Talk, man. Yeah, man. This, this That's Hill Talk. That was a pretty great episode, this, man. I actually, you know, we didn't think it was involved for, the, for this long. And to be honest, it was a great episode. You know what I'm saying? I just got to be honest. Got to be honest. You got to get it. They can act like Orange Cassidy back there. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, anything to say about wrestling this week? Oh, man. Um, How do you feel about wrestling in a home? Yeah, to be honest, maybe a lot of people won't understand this. And to be honest, a lot of people won't. A lot of people won't understand. But wrestling, sometimes it's sort of like an anime. It's a show you can to tune into, and sometimes you don't know where it's going to go or what to expect. Because you're always going to see somebody new and be like, oh, shit. Yo, this guy is badass. Or yo, this character. Not even that, but this character. Yeah, this character is badass. Or this storyline is insane. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's, that's what does it for me. It's not so much that I like the, the wrestlers or the characters. I'm more like the storyline. It's some characters that I just like right out the gate, like Orange Cassidy. And his character is just fucking awesome. Like, he's that dumb. Is dumb. He's yeah. dumb. But, you know. Yeah, well, before we, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. We got to talk. Nah, I mean, well, it's, it's just, I mean, like, it's just, it's just like wrestling. Like wrestling has a whole. I mean, some people grow out of it, you know, don't, you know, don't like it or whatever. But it's just like 
the matches are sometimes so real. Like, you know, sometimes, yes, it is scripted sometimes, but things go on script. Sometimes it doesn't always go out. You know, things don't always go as planned. And sometimes you have to really sometimes improvise what's going to happen. Shout out to, you know, one, one, one of my favorite wrestlers, and he's really the GOAT. And anyone, yeah, everyone should, can't agree on this, I don't care. Ooh. But Weissel J, Chris Jericho. Oh, Chris Jericho is my favorite wrestler. They actually wanted to go, yeah. He's my wrestler. number one. This guy is super fucking talented. Like, shout out to Chris Jericho. Guy, man. Like, he, he... Who can take a loss and keep pushing? And keep pushing. As a that, superstar. That, but mm. if, if y'all haven't even, like, watched, like, some matches, then there's things where, like, are, like something was about to go wrong, and he'll save... Yo, like, yeah. he'll, save he'll save the wrestler, I've seen and that. then keep on rusting like nothing ever happened. Seen like it. Seen it. Seen like, it many times. He'll, like, he'll save a flop, and then, and then act like a flop never happened. Like, Jericho is, like, is, a, is, to me, mm -hmm. our greatest... Wrestler it's ever. Yes, yes, definitely one of the greatest. Definitely one of the greatest. I'm gonna say the greatest ever. And to me personally, the greatest yes. ever. One of the greatest, yes. I, and you say greatest. one of the greatest. Yes, of course. I say the greatest. Well, I mean, when I say, I say the greatest, greatest, I feel I like he's better one, than. To me personally, top like, 10. Definitely top 10. I say top 5. How are you gonna say Chris Jericho's top 10? Chris Jericho's top 5, bro. Well, yeah. Well, Fuck those old guys. Well, they, I mean, it's well, like, well, it's well, like well, rappers. Fuck those old guys. <laughs> well, uh, could, uh, yeah. Jericho's top five, bro. Nah, top yeah. three, if you ask me. Nah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, me personally, yeah, Jericho's because... fucking. He could probably be better than Undertaker. Of course, nah, he is. He is. He's just way better. I, I mean, 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 I love the Undertaker. Wait, 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 wait. I love the Undertaker. I love the Undertaker. Like, Chris Jericho's I, fucking well, better Chris than Jericho, Undertaker. Chris Jericho's a hundred. He's a better than Undertaker. Chris Jericho's better than Undertaker. Like, the Undertaker's character uh, is better, better than Chris Jericho. Yes, yes. yes but Chris Jericho is a better wrestler. He's a better no, athlete. A better no, athlete. not even as a whole. I mean, yes. As a fucking. Yes, as a whole wrestler. As a freaking victor. As a The only, the only thing Undertaker has is the persona. The Undertaker that wins everything. Everybody. Hey. That wins everybody. Come on. Yes. But, but, Y2J, Chris Jericho, motherfucker himself. The Ayatollah of Rock and Roll. That motherfucker the list. Is, is one of the greatest artists ever. It, it, it's a it's pain maker. But, but also, it, it's just, I, I have to say, one of the greatest because there's a lot of good, good ass wrestlers out there. Like, they all. Like, they like, all. like, my favorite wrestler is like in ring. You know, Jeff Hardy's like my idol. That's like, I, I grew up on him. I love everything about him. But, but, at the end of the day, if you tell me AD Styles is Jeff Hardy, I gotta go AD Styles. AD Styles. No matter what. You gotta no go AD Styles. No, no matter what. You like, have to go like, AD Styles. I love, I AD love Styles Jeff Hardy, AD, AD Styles. is a GOAT. AD Styles has won world titles. Alright, well, let me ask you a question. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I got a question. We got, we got five minutes. Like you. We got five minutes. I like you, kid. I got a question. <laughs> I like you. Since we talking like you, AD Styles. Yes. <laughs> I Alright, AD Styles put up a tweet the other day. Cool. Talk about I don't say like that, but uh, yeah. the tweet was up. And he was like, "Yo, these guys are great." Da, da, da. I'm not sure how the tweet went. I can't really remember it, but it was a picture of him. It was it was Prince. Finn, no, matter of fact, it was Finn Balor. Mm -hmm. It was Finn Balor and uh, Adam Cole putting up the two speed during their match. And Adam uh, AJ Styles was like, "Yeah, these two guys." I feel like. Mm, they should fucking do match. something, they man. They could have been did like a Yo, and that's brick club, and that's a, yes, fucking yes, WWE. They could have yes. been like this shit could fucking happen. Like, why not make this happen? Oh, uh, uh, yo, let me know down in the comments if you would like to see Adam Cole. Uh, Finn Balor and AJ Styles all together, or at least in a match together all at once, man. Right. Boy, yes, no that would be a wonderful I match. I feel like Survivor. that, for me, would be a Survivor Series match. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a pay-per-view match, no matter what. That would have to be a, to me, that would be a Survivor Series match because of the stipulations, all of the brands come together. So, I would, I would just slam too. SummerSlam, everyone, everyone comes to that. I mean, sometimes, if you think yeah. about it, sometimes, in, in certain SummerSlams, shit has gone down. Yeah, yeah. Things, things do go down. That's really a WrestleMania match. But, or, or yeah, I, I, wasn't, I, I wasn't there at WrestleMania, but I don't want to wait there at WrestleMania. Yeah. Like, think about that. Like, yeah. If I won't be WrestleMania. That's, that's why yeah. I said, that's, uh, you have to build that shit. That's why I said Survivor Series. Yeah. Yeah. Survivor Series, it would make sense. You would build it up. Yeah. You would give these guys the titles. Yeah. Or you would just be like, hey, 
you could, it would make sense. Yeah. And Survivor Series, I can win a year for that. I can yeah, win a year for that. I thought, yeah. You get what I'm saying? I can win a year for that. It would, it would, it would build up. You would have to make it. You want to build it up, but you don't want to build it up too much. Like, yeah. that, that John Cena versus the, like, with the John Cena versus the, um, the Rock feud, they really fought WrestleMania. They, were, they didn't have, they was cutting promos, they was doing this, they was, the Rock made a fucking video on Facebook, and yeah. then the WWE was a young post this as my promo. I don't want to go. I'm busy, but listen, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make my promo at home. That's pretty right. lazy. I'm not going no, it's having money. But I mean, well, yeah, I mean, it's better than WWE. No, nah, yeah, I mean, this has a the rock. He was really, really like. We gotta pay him to come Richards, back down. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Before we go, we got three minutes. Yeah. Uh, about this uh, interesting news about the Rock, since we're talking the Rock. Thanks. Nice. How the Rock did not want to wrestle Billy Gunn. He said because. One, he didn't, he felt that he was up here and he didn't need to be put, he felt it was being, he was being demoted when he battled Big Gun. A lot of people don't realize he battled Big Gun right before he got the championship uh, his first time. Um, and he just said it was a waste of his time. He was already the man, he was already the people's champion at that time. He was not even the people's champion, he was just already the rock. He was the guy, he, you know what I'm saying? He was the number one guy, this was before Stone Cold. And, um, he just felt like it was, he didn't want to do it because he felt it was demoting him and also putting Billy Gunn down. Mind you, Billy Gunn had the tag team titles at that time with the New Age Outlaws. Um, and he just felt he was putting them down, which was weird. But I feel the rock on this because like, wait, wait, hold on, wait. And also, since we're speaking of the rock, whose Pritchard says, the reason why the rock was let go because no one fucking knew his contract was up. Vince McMahon said he was out, hurt with his torn shit because yeah. of the Roy Rumble uh, thing dealing with, I think it was Batista and someone else, and he came down to the ring, he told his uh, ACL, both of them at the same time. Bruce Pritchard said he just didn't know what doing with the, uh, 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 not even Bruce Pritchard, it was, uh, it was not even a, uh, I don't even know this guy's name, but he basically didn't know that The Rock's shit was up, and The Rock was like, no one hit him, no one said anything, and so he was like, yo, fuck it, yo. I'm already doing this movie shit, I'm already coming and going, and they let him go in 2005? I mean, The Rock still... The crazy he, thing is, they let him go in 2005, but... His last he, match was against yeah, Brock Lesnar. Yeah, against, no, it wasn't, it was John Cena. His last official Fish. match as a member of the roster was okay. against Brock Lesnar. And he lost. It was a squash match. Was, it was basically was a squash title. match. That's the last official match. No, it was actually basically a squash match. Yo, it's over. I just, he lost. You know what I'm saying? The Rock said he was basically supposed to come back and, you know, do more dealing, more business with it, but it didn't happen. Hey, man. But, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let us know down in the comments. Uh, this is Dirty Hills. I am your boy, Kenneth Stones, a.k.a. Kofi Weedston. This is Leonard, man, a.k.a. The Champ. <laughs> and this is the Dirty Hills. This is the Dirty Hills. Yeah, okay, it's your boy, Kenneth Stones, a.k.a. Kofi Weedston, a.k.a. Kevin Hash, a.k.a. Hot Hall, a.k.a. Uh, 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 hey, you know what? I got so many. I don't know any. I'll ask you more.